it's Shannon and today I am doing for you the Taylor Swift book tag. No I was not tagged in it, but no I do not care because I needed to do this tag. Question one. For We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together, pick a book that you were pretty sure you were in love with but later wanted to break up with. Hmm. The Fifty Shades of Grey book series. Pretty sure this does not need any explanation. Question two. For red, pick a book with a red cover. Now there was a lot of ways I could have gone with this one because I have a lot of books with red on their cover, but I went with a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass because look at this. This is beautiful. Like, come on. Why would I not pick this this book for this song? Question three. For the best day, pick a book that makes you feel nostalgic. Now, I don't have the first book in this series yet. I plan on it eventually. But the book series I went with is The Princess Diaries because I remember reading this whole series through the end of high school and I loved it. Like, it was so much fun. I adored this book series. Makes me feel nostalgic because it reminds me of high school. Question four. For Love Story, pick a book that has forbidden love. For this one, I picked the obvious choice because it was her inspiration for the song, at least part of it, and I chose Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare because, I mean, it was what started it all, right? Question five. <laughs> trouble we're supposed to pick a bad character you couldn't help but love I had quite a few ways I could go with this one honestly but I ended up choosing Thomas Cresswell from Stalking Jack the Ripper oh my gosh this guy he's cute from what he how he's described he's obnoxious like ah uh, you can tell that they're trying to paint him as both a good guy and a bad guy, so it's really annoying to try to decipher between which one he really is, but I couldn't help but fall in love with him. He's amazing. He's my favorite in this book. Question six. For Innocent, written for Kanye West, you're supposed to choose a book that someone ruined the ending for you. Okay, mine is a little bending of the rules because no one ruined the ending of it for me except for the all the people who have made and remade Alice in Wonderland 50 million times. So I am going with Heartless by Marissa Meyer. The reason the ending is kind of ruined is because everybody knows how the Queen of Hearts ends up. Everybody knows that she goes crazy and she's evil. So something had to happen in between the beginning of this book and the beginning of... Alice's Adventures in Wonderland to make her turn into a crazy psycho from the sweet little baker girl who all she wants to do is run her own bake shop. So that's kind of like huge spoiler going into it, but you know, I still wanted to read it anyway because I wanted to see that character development and see what happened to her and oh my gosh, to me it did not disappoint at all. Question 7. For Everything Has Changed, we are supposed to choose a book with extensive character development. And I chose Three Dark Crowns by Kendare Blake. I think Catherine especially had a lot of character development. Like at first, she's just shy and so, like, 
she's so down on herself and shy and she doesn't want to ever do anything because she knows she's going to fail. Catherine especially, but Mirabella actually too. But she becomes more humble, so it's kind of the opposite of Catherine in a way. So this book definitely has some good character development. Question eight. Once upon a time, I believe it was a Tuesday when I always you are supposed to pick your favorite book couple which is kind of funny because the song doesn't really match the question except in my case because my case is Kath and Jess from Heartless I'm so sad like if you've read Heartless you know what happens and it's just so sad and I liked him I loved him so much I loved the two of them together they were so sweet they were a little insta lovey but I still love them and ugh, favorite book couple right now is definitely Jess and Kath question nine <laughs> For you belong with me, you choose a book that you are most anticipating the release of. I actually have two, one of which is the sequel to Three Dark Crowns, which I just showed you. The sequel is called One Dark Throne. I haven't even seen a cover for it yet, and it comes out in September, so I'm like, I need this book now. I needed it the second I finished Three Dark Crowns. And then my other answer, which is the book I'll show you right now, is the sequel to The Thousandth Floor. Oh my gosh. The ending to this, you knew going into it that something bad was going to happen. Because it opened up with something bad happening, and then it just led up to it through the whole thing. I'm very upset about... What happened? This is like, this is like Pretty Little Liars on futuristic steroids, and I love it because, honestly, if I'm being honest, I like this so much better than the Pretty Little Liars books, and honestly, I might even like it a little bit more than the show. So, I need the sequel to this. It comes out, I think, in August, they said, but they don't have an exact date yet. They don't have a cover. They don't have anything, and I need it. I need it now. You belong with me right now. Question 10. For Come Back, Be Here, we are supposed to choose a book that you wouldn't want to lend out for fear of missing it too much. Now I've used this before, but I'm using this specific edition because it's a special copy. It's something that means a lot to me because it is special and I don't want it to get ruined by anyone or anything. I keep it up high so my cats can't get to it. It's just too important to me. And it is the Owl Crate edition of Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I mean, look at this. Wouldn't you miss that being on your shelf if somebody took it with them when they left your house? I would cry. This is too pretty to let someone else take with them. So, no. This one's staying with me forever. Not forever and always, though. Just not. It's not leaving, so I don't have to say come back, be here. So I believe that Kat from Cattytastic extended this tag and added an extra two questions, making it 12 altogether. So I'm going to do those two, plus I am going to add a 13th question to make it Taylor's number, which is lucky number 13. So first we're going to go into question 11. <laughs> Teardrops on my 
guitar, we are supposed to choose a book that made us cry a lot. This book definitely made me cry quite a bit. It's packed with so much emotion. It's just like, stop, you're hurting my heart. All my characters are sad. Why are you doing this to me? And it is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. The one that got me the most though, there's two novellas in this that got me the most and made me cry the most. And it was As the Sun Passes By, which is Cress's prequel about her herself. And then the other one that made me cry a lot in here was the epilogue to the entire series called Something Old Something New. And it wasn't sad, it was all happy tears in that one because it was just so cute. And it was just like, oh my gosh, you guys are just so perfect. I love, love, love all the characters in these. And it's just good tears and sad tears. So yeah, this one made me cry quite a bit the first time I read it. Question 12. <laughs> shake it off we are supposed to pick a book that we love so much that we don't care about the haters we're just gonna shake it off I never met a hater of this series until the other day and I had to bite my tongue so hard to not be like are you crazy she was hating on uglies not specifically the book Uglies, but the second book, Pretties. But she was gonna stop the series as a whole because she was like, Oh, the second book is just so boring. Child? No. This child is like 16, so I'm just like, Honey, this is what got me into dystopians. This is a fantastic series. And you just gotta give it a chance. You've got to try. So, I'm just going to shake her off. She's, she's young. She doesn't know. She'll come back to it when she's older and she'll be like, oh yeah, she was right. And finally, my question, question 13. For style, choose a book that the cover will just never go out of style because it's so classic and simple and elegant. So for that, I chose Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer. This, look at this cover, it's iconic. Everybody knows what this book is just by seeing, like you could cover up Breaking Dawn, you could cover up Stephanie Meyer, and everybody would know, oh my gosh, that's Breaking Dawn. That's, the cover is just, Simple, elegant, beautiful. I love this cover. I think it's gorgeous. That's all I really have to say. I had so much fun doing that tag. I know I wasn't tagged originally, but I'm so glad I did it because, you know, it, it's my thing. Taylor's my thing. So, I am going to tag a few people. I want to tag... I want to tag Kelly from Kelly's Book Spill. And I want also going to tag Selena from OXX Snap 13, Red from Little Red Reader, Laura from Bookies and Cookies, and Laura from Lovely Like Laura. I can't wait to see your guys' tags, and I am so happy to have done this. Hope you guys had a good time watching this, and I will see you guys with my next video. Bye!